Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today has been really strange in the arena. And I realize a lot of you out there don't do the arena. So you're probably going to watch a video like this, or maybe not. And you're going to say, well, that's just more motivation to not do the arena. And my response is, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Uh, of course, when people ask me, especially low spenders and or free-to-play players, Prof, how do I get ahead in this game without spending money? I always say the arena. It's not that the arena is great. It's not that it's fun. But it is achievable, especially the summoner trials, which I would recommend anyone do with a decent amount of maxed out four stars. Now, uncollected and above, the six-star featured and six-star basic arena are not going to be easy for you. And I worry that the arena is getting harder for growing players. What I'm about to do is show you a few matchups that I overcame. I mean, you can see a 53 win streak. And uh, the six win streak, I'm just now getting started as my six stars are refreshing from this morning. But... The 53 win streak is kind of what we're going to concentrate on because normally my advice, if you've missed other arena videos, is to use only rank 3 5 stars. But really, I wouldn't even use anything besides rank 4 5 stars now. I don't even use 5 stars except for the bonus arenas like the tier 4 basic. Though, if I'm being honest, that one's, like all the other arenas, good for a couple of easy units. But it's actually way cheaper now, depending on your progression level, I guess. To get tier 4 basic in the rank up store than is anything else. But I used to say only use your rank 1 6 stars after you've earned at least a win streak of 20. Now while that can still be okay, I'm going to show you some matchups where I used rank 1 and rank 2 6 stars today and got some just really challenging and somewhat frustrating uh, matchups because this is a sign of things to come and the bottom line in some area of uh, my commentary my feedback for growing players is that it's going to be harder for you to get free units which I think's always been Kabam's plan but today of all days is when these things have just started popping up and so let's start with my rank three six stars and a rank one seven star. Now, PI wise, this is fine. You know, this is pretty even, but double Ebony Coleslaw, shout out to the Fist Fighter uh, title with Mr. Is it Logo 2 is the name? Fist Fighter, Mr. Logo 2. Who needs to be a professor when you can be a Fist Fighter? Wiccan, Ebony Ma, both seven stars and a rank three awakened. Uh, six star Ebony Maw. Again, I got past it. You saw my streak, but it was the first time that I saw two Ebony Maws together, and this was long past the win streak of 20. So I thought, huh, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And I figured I'd make a video weeks down the line and I'd kind of just keep my screenshots. But then some other weird, challenging matchups started to appear. This one, again, rank three, six stars PI wise, I'm good. But seven star Bishop, seven star Terax, and seven star Ebony Ma against rank three, six stars is no walk in the park. This one I did well on, and thankfully Terax is not awakened, so it's an easier fight. I'm not saying that this is totally challenging, I'm not saying it's super hard, but it is annoying. And if you don't take it seriously, it can bite you. So, so far we've got double Ebony Coleslaw and Wiccan, Ebony Maw with Terax and Bishop. Next we have Triple Hulk. Now this is one that I have seen quite a bit. And I think it's really important to know that synergies do count in the arena. So when you have all Hulks, that can be annoying. We're about to see another synergy matchup that was not easy, but I did win. Doctor Strange, Shang-Chi, and Iron Man Infinity War. This is the easiest of the ones that I'm showing, but it's still worth noting that even Kabam's algorithm continues to match up good arena teams with synergies. Speaking of which, 
We have this one first. It is rank three, rank three, rank three, six stars. Again, a lot of times growing players have a few rank four, six stars, but mostly rank threes. And now you're going to be matching up seven star Emma Frost, Awakened rank four, Awakened Gore. I said Awakened twice for some reason. And Awakened Domino. I was able to win all three fights, but it's just not going to be what it used to be in some cases, even with a win streak of like 30 or 40. And this is something that if you get bad RNG or you, quite frankly, just take it lightly, you could have to reset your streak. Speaking of synergies, though, this is a old favorite that is popping up once again. These are rank four and rank three. The PI is not terrible, and I was doing this because there's Science Arena uh, points going on right now. But check this out. Captain Marvel, Nick Fury, and Doctor Doom. Rank 4, Rank 4, Rank 3, and of course Nick Fury and Captain Sparkles, and I guess to a certain extent Doctor Doom, have a pretty annoying synergy. So this is the kind of thing that, as somebody who's thinking, I'll just wait for all my Rank 4s and Rank 5s to reset and I won't do any more, I'm fine, but a lot of people don't have that luxury, and this is the kind of thing I want to talk about on my channel. Regardless of how many views something gets, it's about the topic that affects people. And free-to-play players don't have 20 rank 5, 6 stars. They might only have a couple, even as Paragon players. So, this is uh, the feedback for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.